Starting on a new project here, I'm applying some Aura Mask to a piece of plywood that I've already painted. We're going to use this to do a two color sign, so I'm going to show you how to do that. We're just going to get the edges all trimmed up so that it's ready to go on the CNC. We just switched out my daughter's room to an ocean theme, so I asked the Tools Today team to help me come up with a design for her room, and they came up with this awesome ship wheel compass that I'm really excited to make. 90 degree V insert bit. This guy does an amazing job cutting through this mask. Making perfectly clean cuts through this mask is definitely not easy, and this bit is definitely up for the challenge. I I decided to go with a 90 degree bit here because the plywood tends to chip out if you carve too deep. It chips out between the layers, but the 90 degree doesn't plunge quite as deep as something like a 60 or 45 degree wood for some of the fine details. So it was definitely the route to go and it didn't chip out the plywood at all and there was absolutely no cleanup necessary, which is always great to see. So now we need to cut the profile out. I'm using a quarter inch down cut bit here to just run around the outside profile. The downcut action of it leaves a perfectly clean top surface, so there is no cleanup needed there at all. We ran it through with multiple passes to get to the final depth, leaving tabs on the final pass. Using a multi-tool, I'm going to go ahead and get those tabs all cut, and now we can remove the waste piece and we have the actual wheel. Using some general finishes, Snow White Milk Paint, we'll just paint the areas that have been carved. The nice thing about this milk paint is that it dries super quick, so it took maybe an hour or so and it was fully dry and I can start peeling the mask off. It's really nice to see the mask coming off and leaving perfectly clean lines on the edge. Then we need to get the tabs flush trimmed. I'm using the mini flush trim bit here to go ahead and do that. Then after that is done, we can get the bit switched out for the mini round over bit. The nice thing about these mini bits is they have a 3 16 inch diameter ball bearing. Since the bearing is so small, it allows the bit to get into those really tight areas that were cut on the CNC and we can round those over without having to do any extra work. This bit cuts perfectly clean and leaves me with zero cleanup work needed at all. Once a piece is done, I always write on the back of it what it's for and sign it and date it, so this one was no different. This piece is officially done now. Super happy with how it came out. I really like the overall look of it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the project and we will catch you guys back out here in the next one. Have a great day everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe right over here. And for more great videos, click right over here.